Hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna be showing you how to upgrade your uh, footwell LED lights. So you wanna start off with your LED light. You need some uh, solder, a little pick, and two flathead screwdrivers, the thin ones, the really small ones. The LED light itself that you're gonna be uh, replacing it with, a soldering gun or soldering pen, and some uh, wire cutters. To start with the light socket from the driver's side it's gonna be by the um, gas pedal right here this back here don't know if you can see it but it's right there what you want to do is feel for it uh, I don't know if I can show you but it's back here by these vents and you're just gonna twist a little bit so to release it the clip from the wire it's on top so you want to push down on the clip and then pull the wire back after that you twist the light off and as you can see I already have it done but that's where this light is and again it's just back here and then to reinstall it um you feel for that opening for the light and get it in halfway. once it's like halfway in you want to get the wire back on the on the socket you hear it click and then just twist until it's in and you're good to go for you to get the passenger side it's underneath the panel back here so you can see it right there so how you get to it is you pull down on this piece pull down uh, it has two latches where it comes out from and once it's down enough you can pull on this piece right here Careful. Uh, and those are the two latches. And they go back there. One, two. And then again, just disconnect the wire first before you take off the the socket. So there you go. Release this wire. And the whole thing comes off. And then for the light, you just twist. Let's see. Yeah. Twist it, it comes off, take off the plastic, pry up the, the whole piece, the whole connector with the LED, replace the new one in, and swap it in. You want to start off with the LED socket. Um, you're going to take off the clear uh, plastic off uh, and take this off. Just be careful to not break the tabs or the, the plastic itself. And then we're going to use the little windows if you can see um use the pick to pull up on the whole led light with the pins and then i'm going to desolder this light and then solder the new led on here all right so i took off the clear lens off um, and this is just the led and i'm going to be using these little windows to pry up on the led with the little connection there just so I could undo the LED from the back side because it's soldered on the back. So now using the, the pick, I'm going to shove it underneath here and pull up on the little, the little switch itself. So we'll just start here at the bottom. Try to be careful and mindful of it you don't want to break that off but just using the pick i was able to pick it up now it's loose and now we have this so i'm just gonna use the soldering pen to heat this up so i can loosen the the led from it and 
And as you can see, um, it also has two little notches where it sits on, on the connector itself. So once you desolder it, just take it off, get it undone from those little notches. Now I have just the connector and I've removed the LED, the stock LED. Well, because I know I've already done the driver's side, I'm doing the passenger side. Um, this is the LED. This is the LED. Uh, this is too much wire for this little piece. So I'll be, I'll be cutting most of this off and only need a, about an inch from the black tape or this heat shrink that's on here. Probably just leave about an inch, inch and a half of wire. Strip some off and then I'm going to solder it to this with the little prongs facing up on the plastic on the connector with the prongs facing up this side is the positive side and then that side is the negative side so red on the left side black on the right side so this is how much wire you need um, and you just need the tiniest bit of wire exposed so again um, for your connector going to be the red wire on the left and the black wire on the right like this so I'm gonna use my channel locks here uh, just to hold this little piece so I could solder the wires where they're supposed to go and I'm just using this uh, thin solder here that I got from AutoZone um, just gonna add a little bit to the connectors and then I'm gonna put place the wires right on top. So I'm gonna add a little bit of solder so I have something to land the wires on. There we go. Alright, so now you have your connection with the red wire on the left and the black wire on the right. Good. Could be better, but it's a very thin wire. And this is just going to fall in there. And you'll hear it snap in place. Ready? Oh yeah, this has a little, um, a little groove right there where it'll land right there in the bottom. So that's how you know how to put this on. There we go. It's in place now. So now we just fold the wires back a little bit like that. And then the LED just... Put it back over here and you're going to put your clear lens over this but like i said because this wire this piece is too thick this piece of the lens will get in the way and it's not going to allow it to uh fall in place where it needs to so i'm going to cut this piece off and i just need my side cutting pliers So pretty much all of it has to go all the way, has to go away. So just cut from the outer edge. Be careful enough to not shatter the whole piece into a million pieces. There we go. And you can see where I cut. sideways now try to make it with less sharp edges as possible but I mean you can only do so much with these side cutting pliers 
but anyway I'm happy with this and now it'll be able to close so just put this LED where it needs to go about there throw your clear lens over it and just make sure that the LED is pointing straight up There's one side. There's the other side, but it's not pointing straight, straight up. So I need to fix this. And after some adjusting, the light is pointing up. And I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it is pretty jagged looking back here but it's not gonna cut the wire or mess with it at all so now all i have to do is connect this back and put it on the passenger side and now i have the passenger side as well just so you see driver's side passenger side we turn on the car all lit up nice nicely at the bottom and if I up the brightness oh yeah lower it and that's pretty much off you can still see a little bit right there driver's side passenger side it's a little bit more hidden so you can't really see but you can so let's put this back to halfway is where I have it. About right there. Driver side, passenger side. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you in the next video.